Hi everybody, how are you all doing out there? I hope you're all doing good. I'm not too bad, could be better, but could be worse. So, I realise that it's been a while since I've actually posted a video log with me talking about stuff or opinions and rants. So there's a couple of things that I think need to be spoke about and you need to know about. So here it goes. Earlier on today, while I was doing the usual routine of housework, blah blah blah, boring stuff, I was listening to the local radio. Now, three men have been sentenced to altogether 12 years for senselessly beating up a homeless person. Now, I think I just stood there for a minute and thought, what? What? What, what was, you know, what was the point? They didn't elaborate on the situation, but later on um, in the day they reported it again and um, basically was just saying that this guy had obviously been put into intensive care for quite a while. Now, Yes, they deserve to go to jail. Anybody deserves to go to jail for putting senseless violence on someone. You know, what was the point in that? What was the point in any of it? You see on the TV so much, so-and-so get stabbed. Or in our local paper a little while ago, actually, um, a guy, I don't actually know the full story, I only read sort of the small snippet of it. He was going around hacking people. Or in fact, I think it was only one person that got assaulted by him with a meat cleaver. Seriously, what is going on with people these days? Folk get stabbed, beaten up, could be for the way you look, your religion, anything. It's just senseless violence and there is no need for it. And everybody that does something like this somebody deserves to go down, deserves to get some time in jail because it's just pointless. Anyway, it just really annoys me and how people can be so stupid as to think that using their fists or knives, meat cleavers, anything is going to solve anything bar making them all look really stupid basically. <sighs> okay, so another thing. There was a girl called Lisa that used to live in a town near me. It was reported in the news, this story, but not many people may have paid attention to it, but I'll bring it to light again. She was battling a brain tumour. She was only 16 years old and was getting treatment in Glasgow, I think Royal Infirmary, I think it was that, obviously for chemotherapy. Now, that um, was this was a couple of months ago. She received a really, really large overdose on chemotherapy due to human error. Now, nobody's perfect and not a nobody's perfect and not everybody can go through their whole life without making mistakes. But you're dealing with somebody's life here, you know. I think what they should have really done is put more care into this actually happening and stopped it from happening, but can't really now. Um, in the news you could see that all over um, the sides of her head and round her ears and inside of her ears were burned and uh, probably would have been quite badly scarred after a while. Uh, but a couple of weeks ago, or maybe a week and a half ago now, she passed away. There was an inquiry into whether the human error had helped contribute towards her passing away, but they came to the conclusion that it was the brain tumour that had actually killed her unfortunately, which is quite sad because 16 years old battling a brain tumour not really lived much of her life. To point though anybody who's battling anything and loses her life because of it is sad. It's, it's something that I personally wish that in this world we could find a cure for everything but everything progresses and becomes worse and such as viruses and diseases and you can't exactly think ahead and what it's going to do next really in all of them. So that's just our world now. I think that's really about it on the rambling news side of things that I've been hearing recently. Um, I've got a new video coming up soon and it's going to be an interactive one. Uh, I'm reluctant to post it yet because um, I don't actually know if we're going to get any video responses to it. I'm rambling a lot here. <laughs> you know, you put up something that's interactive and you think, right, I'm going to leave that there and if I get one video response, I'm going to look stupid. But I suppose who really cares? It's 
fun, it's all excitement. This is what all of this is for. I want to thank all of my new subscribers. I will lift, list them after this. Thank you so much for subscribing to me. It means a lot to have you here and to listen to my opinions. Also, for Sully as well, for putting me in the YouTube guide. And he had to put in the beginning of the video. If you haven't seen it, it's in my favourites. You can check that out. And check him out as well. He's in my subscribers list and subscription. So, either way you can check him out. It's only 6968. I don't actually know. I could have got that wrong and I'm sorry if I have. Um, yeah, the beginning of the video uh, was the one where I did that it was my red wig. Not the Halloween one, but before that. So I was quite shocked. And he said some very, very nice things about me and thank you so much for that. And I have got a few more people onto my subscriptions as well because of it, as people have become more aware of me and my ranty, opinionated blogs. <laughs> I'm going to have to try and do some more because I've not kept up with things recently. But I don't know if this is going to be the last blog you're going to see from me tonight, but I think if it's not, it might be the interactive one. So, heads up for that one. Keep an eye out for it. And if you can, reply to it. And if you don't want to, you can maybe sit and watch others. But I think that is about it for now. I really do hope that everybody out there is doing really well and... Oh, in fact... Now, <laughs> before I run off, I'm, there's, there's a guy called Stu on here. Now, I can't even for not some reason pronounce his um, YouTube name. He's his one of his recent videos is the first one in my favourites. Check it out. It's fantastic. He's excellent on the guitar. Um, and he told me that he might not be making videos again. Now, I'm a bit peed off about that because I like the way he makes his videos. They're very relaxed and he just gets on with plays the guitar for his own pleasure and we get pleasure out of it as well. So, I think if you like his videos, and you don't think you should stop making them, then just give him a quick heads up and let him know. Because I don't think you should. I think that's it for now. So that's me ranted, rambled and whatever. He's probably going to kill me now for that, but don't worry about it. I'll be fine. So, everybody, I hope you're all alright out there. And as I said before, if you need to chat or shoulder to lean on, you know I'm here for you. So, I'll speak to you all again soon. See you later. Bye-bye.